Tomorrow marks two years since the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. As the war continues, the hearts of Ukrainians living in Wisconsin ache for an end. WMTV's Cameron Kelly sat down with a Ukrainian activist who lives here in Dane County and says tomorrow will be a heavy day. Lee, the feeling of knowing your family is miles away from missiles does not get easier for Ruslana Westerlin. She says since the start of the war, fear constantly runs through her mind. My nephews, um, one of them lives in Kiev, and he occasionally sends me footage of uh, the sky lit up by the ex missiles or explosions. As the two-year mark approaches of the invasion of Ukraine by Russia, Ruslana Westerlin says she continues to hear heartbreaking news from her family in Ukraine. My dad tells me stories of missile was intercepted seven miles away from where he lives. So that's like from here to Costco. Right now, her cousin is serving in the war. He came home wounded one summer, then they patched him up and he went back into a different territory. But uh, these are m my cousins, like my family that are in this uh, trying to fight for our country. With no end in sight, a UW-Madison professor in Russian studies believes changes need to happen in Russia. For example, with maybe a new government coming to power that uh, would want to stop this war and withdraw Russian troops for, from Ukraine, or maybe Ukraine receiving some massive uh, game-changing support from its international partners. Short of that, I think uh, fighting is uh, going to continue. Since February 24th, 2022, Westerlin and her neighbors have had flags flying outside their homes. Today, those flags are still there. We have been crushed and and at the same time encouraged by the global support, by the local um, activists and the global coalition of volunteers that have uh, held up our country in different ways. Westerlin is the president of Friends of Ukraine Madison, and she says tomorrow they will host a gathering in front of the state capitol at 1 p.m. to commemorate the second year of the war. Live in the studio, Cameron Kelly, WMTV 15 News.